to speak, man, about how big this one was for you. That that has to feel so huge for you. Yeah, man, super big. Uh, never lost three in a row, so uh, I didn't want to make it four. That would have been uh, possibly the end of my career. So, you know, it was nice to uh, get the W. I was just going to ask, I mean, like, that's a horrible question to ask. If you lost four in a row, were you just going to quit? I don't know, you man. It's, it's really hard to say. You, sometimes you think that, but, you know, um, as a competitor, you know, uh, it's, it'd be hard to hang it up. So. Really? It's been that long? January 2016, I think it's Damn. Asked. Wow. Yeah, I needed that one, to say the least. I mean, how good, did, can you tell me, take me through how good it feels to, to, to get that kind of that monkey off your back and, and what that felt like out there when, you, when, when, the, when the ref was raising your hand? Uh, you know, it felt really good. It's hard to uh, kind of hold the emotions in and, and not, you know, cry like a baby sometimes with, uh, you know, tears, tears of joy. But, uh, uh, man, it's like uh, been close to last, some of these last couple fights and just dealing with injuries. Um, so it was nice going in there feeling confident that I had a great camp and I felt good, healthy, no injuries going in. Um, man, super excited. Can't thank my team enough and all the people who helped me get here? It takes a you know, it takes a tribe, you know, a lot of people to make this happen. The finish itself, uh, I mean, it looked pretty cool on the on the replay. I mean, did you watch it? I mean, the way he kind of wobbled back like that. I mean, that was. You know, I kind of envisioned that, you know, the other day actually, like catching him with a knee and him wobbling. Uh, so it was kind of uh, surreal. Uh, but yeah, I hit him with the knee. I felt it connect, and then when I brought my eyes up, and I saw him wobbling. Yeah, it was it was it was great to see because you, you know, I knew I could finish at that point. Leading into that, I mean, did you feel like that was the kind of fight that it was going to be? I mean, it seemed like it was kind of like a, a vintage uh, Patrick Cummins kind of fight, like just getting dirty and. It was great for me, man. I thought he was going to be shooting more. I was happy that he was standing and banging with me and not trying to make it a wrestling match as much because, uh, you know, he took me down once and I was able to get up. You know, uh, I was. You know, worried that he'd be able to take me down and kind of hold me down and grind me out. Uh, I mean, I was confident that I could get back up because we've been working on that a lot. But still, you know, he's a damn good wrestler, big, strong guy with good control. So I didn't want to get stuck underneath, especially in the first round when we, brought, when, you know, when he's got a lot of energy to hold me down. Start to think yet about what you want next and how soon you want to get back in there, or are you at the stage of your career where when they call you with something? You, you know, I'll get back home and uh, talk with my team. Uh, you know, uh, my family and just kind of see. I'd like to get back in there again, uh, you know, maybe towards the end of summer. Uh, it's hard to say. See how I'm feeling. Uh, again, again I'd, I'd love to get back in there, um, be, obviously, before year, year's end, because uh, getting two in in one year would be nice. It's been a while since I've been able to do that. You did mention uh, working on your wrestling. You brought in Mike Pierce for this camp. Uh, just talk a little about the impact of that. He did get you down, but you were right back up. Yeah, I uh, brought in Mike Pierce. Um, I needed to bring a wrestling coach in probably sooner, you know, or in the past I should have brought one in. I just couldn't find the right guy and, and Mike was in a position to be able to help me. So it was a great addition to the team. Uh, I feel like I had the best corner that I've ever had uh, for this fight with, uh, you know, my kickboxing coach, my grappling coach and my wrestling coach all working together. Um, again, other coaches back home too. So uh, it was great having Mike on the team. I know you mentioned that, and you mentioned to me as well, talking years ago about saying one day we're going to be on ESPN. Do you get to say I told you so to a few people now? Or? Yeah, you know, I don't know if anybody doubted it, uh, but it's cool that we're on ESPN. Um, it's, pretty, it's pretty darn cool to see how far the sports came since 2006 when I was on The Ultimate Fighter, and I was still explaining to people what the heck we do. And, I mean, do you think they got to put you in the game now? Man, I sure hope so. I'll even be like a wimpy guy who gets beat up. Just put me in the game, man. Come on, please. Please. Um, do you ever plan on returning to Millway? Do you plan on being a light heavyweight for the rest of your career? I think I'm going to stay at, at a light heavy. Unless they came at me, at me with some serious money to get down there, it's not worth uh, the lifestyle. It's all about the scale and, and making weight. Um, as I'm getting older, I think health-wise, I think it's healthier for me to stay at light heavyweight. Right. I mean, I got tonight. I was 209 for the fight, so. I mean, I'm at my walking weight. I'm in great shape, obviously, so it takes a little bit to get down here, but, you know, it's awesome to be able to come in here and fight at my walking around weight, and, and I'm ready to bring it, so.
This might be a little hard question to ask since sometimes you just had a fight. But what win do you hold closest to you that you've had the earlier this year? That one right there, man. That Absolutely, one. because coming off three losses, you know, getting towards the end of my career possibly, um, a lot of people doubting me, saying that I should retire, this and that, dealing with injuries to be able to come back and have a healthy camp. I got a great team behind me, and just, yeah, absolutely, that, that one. Thanks, man. Thanks, man. Thanks, man.